A lot of people consider St. Joan his masterpiece. Bernard Shaw was already nearly 70 when he wrote the play, and he'd written pretty much all the other plays for which he's famous by then. But I think he really did crown his achievement with this play. Well, everyone knows the story of Joan of Arc. We all know that she was burnt at the stake. Uh, not everyone knows exactly how that happened, and Bernard Shaw has really followed the story very accurately. It all happened in the 15th century. A 17-year-old girl comes out of nowhere and suddenly effectively defeats the whole English army uh, by putting fire into the French troops and turning the tide of a war that was going against the French at that time. It's an amazingly uplifting story. It's one of those stories which, if you invented it, you'd, you'd say it was really implausible. But it all happened. I mean, it's Shaw's great arguments. Like, it, um, it is, you know, one of the great plays of the Western canon. Yes, we are doing it what you would call modern dress, but I would also like to refer to it as no historical time. So the choices that we're making in terms of what people are wearing are designed to allow the audience to quickly identify levels of conformity and levels of society. So it's a bit like going, oh, I identify that guy as a businessman because he's got that Bay Street suit on. How he behaves after that, you don't know. Bernard Shaw was very clear in his notes to the play that he didn't really want a medieval setting. And he was quite cross with the first production, which was very medieval, medieval costumes. And he said, they've killed my play. We looked a lot at the California art and space movement, primarily an artist named James Turrell, another artist named Robert Irwin, that's been a reference. And they are, they are artists that worked with light in the 60s and 70s, and light and perception, uh, light and spirituality, that's, that's part of their focus. You create somehow in the space a sense of awe, a sense of mystery, even if you want to call it at times a surprising moment of magic because you know ultimately is the magic faith is it religion is it science all of those questions i think are very alive in shaw's thinking the cast of saint joan is a real mixture of new and uh, familiar faces here at the shore so we have great stalwarts of the shore like ben campbell and jim mizon playing uh, very important roles but then in the central role of St. Joan, we have Sarah Topham, who's never played at the shore before at all. So she's a great piece of casting. She's doing amazing work. The way that the space is set up, it has a rake, and the rake is set in such a way in the playing space that it should look like it's floating in darkness. I think people watching this will make lots of connections with the modern world, but I don't draw those out explicitly, and therefore, in some ways, I would hope that my production will feel quite timeless. Anyone who loves theatre knows that St. Joan is one of the great roles, and I think it's a really exciting element in a production like this that you get to see one of Canada's finest actresses challenging herself with one of the great roles, and uh, she won't play it again, probably, so this is your one chance to see how that meeting between a great actress and a great role goes down. <laughs>